be difficult to find anyone who would deny the great influence mothers have or had on our lives. I'm not suggesting that it, young people, we all always listened to our mothers every word, as I certainly was not. I was the bane of her whole existence. <laughs> if she said war, I ran. If she said sit down, I would stand up. I went to opposite. My mother used to do things to me that made me think that something was radically wrong with her. <laughs> I remember once having the chicken pox, and I got well, and I was about to leave to go to school this day. I went outside the door, and she called me, sister, come here. I went back inside. She said, sit down. Sat down. When you go down the steps, hold on to the banister, otherwise you're going to fall down. <laughs> hold on to the banister? I'm 14 years old. I say, hold on to the banister, otherwise you're going to fall down the steps. I got up, I walked out the door, I closed the door, I went to the head of the steps, I put one foot down, and I was at the bottom of the step. <laughs> I mean, she did things like that to me all the time. <laughs> so I was not one of those that really listened to her very carefully. Do you understand? All right? I, and I'm sure you all had the same experience. I mean, you know, I mean, she and I, that I love her so much is that I realized in retrospect what she did for me, that she is absolutely responsible for who I am today. Because when I told her that I was going to be an actress, she said to me, you cannot live here and do that. <laughs> I said, what is that? Whatever it is you're getting ready to do, you cannot do it here. <laughs> and so I found a girlfriend who had a job. She wore the same size dress I wore. And she had an apartment. And I asked her if I could move in with her. And I moved out. And I did not see nor speak to my mother for two years. Okay? She just knew that I was going to live in the den of iniquity. And in retrospect, from time to time, one of the things that I am acutely aware of is how amputees feel. I've had them tell me over and over again that when you lose a limb, it feels like it's always still there. When I lost my mother, I kept reaching for this thing because it felt like my arm, my right arm, was gone. It was no longer there. And one thing I learned is that you never know what drives you through life. You never know where your source of energy comes from. And one of the things that I realize about who I have become as, quote, Cicely Tyson, is that I was determined to, to prove my mother wrong. And she was my source of energy throughout my whole entire career. And so I have, that's right, and she is the one. I cannot deny it. I cannot deny it because I know that if it were not for what she did with me 
and for me as a youngster, I would not have that support, that juice that runs through my whole being that allows me to know what to do, when to do, and how to do it. So I have her to thank no matter what.